Stop taking big sips. I'm not taking big sips. You're taking big <laughs> sips. I still love you. I love you too. Oh. <laughs> I you were talking to me, were you? I, I meant number F. Oh, I know you. <laughs> Letter F. <laughs>Our next Patreon pour is from Connor. What's up, Connor? Thanks so much for sending a blind. We've got a very well-sealed envelope. We've got six, uh, I think, whiskeys in front of us. So, uh, Jamie, we should probably do this. Wait, I think he wrote something on the front to you. Please okay. make sure that the pours get poured in alphabetical order, David. Okay, they are poured in alphabetical order. So A through F. We're ready to go. Yeah, let's do this. JTS Brown coming in at 100 proof. Ooh. Lots of brown sugar, some honey, a little bit of um, peanut and grainy. It's very light. It's nice on the nose. Ooh, smells very kind of nutty, woody, a little harsh, a little bit of lemon. It's like roasted peanuts, and the they've kind of been roasted and maybe some caramelized sugar, maybe a little salt mixed in there. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's our it's my first first pour of the night. It's not yours. So what are you thinking, David? Because I feel like it's a little thin, but I really like the flavors. So it's actually coming across higher proof than I would have thought, but mm -hmm. based on the color. Okay. It has a very Jim Beam vibe to me. Yeah. Um, maybe an Evan Williams, but I think it's actually more in the Jim Beam realm. Um, but we'll see how it stacks up against the others. It's not bad. I mean, you can look at the glass and see the legs there. Yep. JTS Brown double oaked in a one liter barrel coming in at 100 proof. Whoa. This one kicks me back a little bit, but in a good way. It's like plum. Like vanilla, but then there's this oak spice. I get herbalness. It may be finished. We'll find out in a second. <laughs> oh, that's rich, oaky, really, really sweet. Touch of maple, almost like a maple honey barrel type thing. It's like a musty cherry. It's a musty cherry, but I, this one I'm almost getting more of a round out plum that's overly ripe. And then there's some savoriness. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's viscousy, it's thick, it's mm -hmm. chewy. You can tell there's a quality to it, but it's also... It's got the cherry, like you said, a little bit of a very dark chocolate cherry, mm -hmm. and it's it's bitter and weedy. It's rich, viscous, and musty and malty, and I don't like malty whiskeys. Early Times Bottled and Bond coming in at 100 proof. Oh, I like this one a lot. Okay. This one kind of reminds me of a nice berry and dessert. This is up my alley. That's so yummy. Little berry. That, to me, it's almost more apricot, though. It's very proofy, though. Lots of proof on the nose. Mm. So on the palate, I'm getting this, like, jelly. And it's coming from this powdered donut with some glaze on it. I'm getting that buttercream. I'm getting some dessert. That's good. I like that one. This is, this is my jam. Number one. One thing I will say is that these are progressively getting darker. Early times bottled and bond stout barrel finished for one week coming in at 100 proof. Okay. Okay. So on the nose, this is very rich. I get buttercream. It's dessert heavy. I'm there's, there might be a little dry fruit spice kind of thing going on. Hmm. Yeah. This is rich buttery waffles and like maple syrup. This has a savory, this is like maple syrup and you're cooking with like some kind of ham, some kind of something. That one's familiar. It's a Mictor's Barrel Proof Rye. Okay, maybe. It reminds me of Mictor's Barrel Proof Rye. Ever since you said you got that orange chicken thing, it's just kind of destroyed the bottle for me. Okay. The second sip was better. It's like a smoky caramelized ham, mm -hmm. but it's very smoky. Mm -hmm. I kind of like that. It's that, very that sweet. Caramelized. It's really viscous. Great mouthfeel. Lots of quality in that one. 110, 12 proof. Um, not too hot. It's a good sipping whiskey. Look um, how viscous that is. Yeah. 
but there is that kind of savory quality, that little bit like a, yeah. su- a, a brown sugar glazed ham mm-hmm. kind of thing to it. Knob Creek 12 year coming in at 100 proof. Okay, this one smells nice, but I've said that on like every nose. Yeah, it feels the nose like. have all been really good tonight. This is super rich, super buttercream. I'm going down that dessert, um, you know, road again with there's pound cake, there's vanilla. Um, not getting a lot of fruit, but there's a lot of cakiness though. Birthday cake kind of thing. Hmm. Very, very like almost like chocolate chip muffins. Very dark, very sweet. The nose reminds me of the OCD Premium, the OCD Five Premium. Mm-hmm. Wow, that maple. So on the palate, I get a lot of weediness. It's like the sweet wheat corn. I'm going that down that path. Cocoa, like you said, kind of a yeah. a, a, a coffee bean. It's not my sweet kind of thing like on the nose i was like really charry oaky Mm -hmm. um it's really like vanilla cream and i like it and sugary sweet Mm -hmm. but it's got a really toasty also vibe to it like a very marshmallow char marshmallow thing going on it almost burnt the heck out of the sweetness so Mm -hmm. i feel like it's not decadent enough for me like it i i expected more from the sweetness it's got everything the mouthfeel the flavors are not bad but it's just too heavy on the char and not enough sweetness yeah it almost has a little bit the vibe of like if you took a a, like a a buttery sugary pastry and you kind of overcooked it and got a little charry knob creek 12 cognac barrel finished for one week oh i like (laughs) that no this is super rich it i hate this because I feel like I'm falling into this trap on the nose. I'm getting this, like there's floral, there's a little berry, um, nice sweetness. Like the richness is out of this world. Buttercream. I'm getting vanilla, cakey, you name it. It's there. Lots of baked goods. Finally. Very sweet. Very desserty. Finally. I'm staring at the 1910 right there. I'm wondering if he he pulled the Jamie. No, I get berry on this. I get richness. I get everything I said kind of on the nose is in the palate. No. Oh, what is that? Yeah, it's not, but it's something I would like. I like this. Very, very Heaven Hill vibe on that one. Okay. Really good Heaven Heaven Hill. Hill. Now I'm getting like, I'm getting explosive berry, but I'm getting this little bit of peanut. Yeah, a little bit and of almond. Some vanilla almond, vanilla almond. Kind stuff. of a creamy okay. almond. There's this like very I'm my mouth is watering for more. Do you feel like your taste buds like soaking up and watering up? Oh yeah. To, it, for it, more? It, yeah, yeah. Like I'm almost drooling. I want more of it. Yeah, that's a good one. I like that one. This one's good. I, there's yeah. two of my favorites. I'm excited to head them. Yep. All the other ones can go and meet my dust, but there's two in here that I really like. There were none that I hate it. Connor, thank you so much for the great blind. This was actually really, really difficult. This was hard. Like yeah. normally I come in here to have a good time and drink and I'm like, oh, my places are this, this. It took me forever. Yep. Yeah. We, uh, I think we both struggled. We both, we had some that like really went up in the ranking. Some that went down that were shocking. Sixth place tonight, David, is this A. That was my sixth place as well. Really? Yes. Oh. Actually, for a long time, it was my fifth place. After getting to the end, it just fell. Yeah, it fell a lot. Fifth place tonight, David, was this guy. Well, we were not on the same page there. That was my second place. Fourth place tonight, guys, was this one. And I said plum, cherry, chocolate, multi, musty, grainy. Yeah, it ended up becoming my fourth place, even though at first it was my sixth place. Mm -hmm. It went up a bit as we went down the line. The maltiness faded a little bit, and the cherry and chocolate came through for, more for me. So. It's it's better now. I almost want to give it a push up a little bit. I don't, we'll... I don't want to give it any more than a go. <laughs> Third place tonight, I said it was like this berry glazed donut, and it's changed a little bit and went back and forth. It was a first for me at first, but then it got weird it stayed my first place the whole night oh it was savory it was like yeah it had a savory kind of yeah uh, kind of a a little bit of a 
like you said, a, a glazed ham, orange chicken vibe to it. Second place tonight. This was that berry jelly donut. And I, after sipping it for a while, it turned into like a peanut berry donut. Yeah. It, this was one that actually went downhill earlier. It was my fourth place, but it it's ended gone. up, it ended up as my fifth place. This was one that was really hard for me because it changed over time. First place tonight was this one, David. Yep. That was my third place. I really like this one. So I did. I'm going to drink it before you take the last sip. Yeah, it was it was my number one for a while, but then actually went downhill over time. It, it's good. It's a really good whiskey. Um, pretty much everything, but maybe fifth and sixth for me are are really pretty good whiskeys. Mm -hmm. This was a really good blind, good lineup. Let's cut this open. Let's get to the uh, the the answers. See if I can do this without cutting myself. Yeah, please don't, David. If you're doing it on camera. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yep. So sealed up. Um, Super duct tape, not duct tape. What is yeah, it? Like don't packing hurt, tape. Don't hurt yourself. Holy David. moly, guys. Let's see how this is packed. All right. Okay. We have a letter. And then I'm guessing the other side is answers. Yes. Okay. Letter says, hello again. This Patreon pour is about two months in the making. First, I bought a one liter barrel from Amazon. Next, I aged a bottle of JTS Brown in the barrel for a week. Oh, interesting. Then I bottled- Sample B, he yep. said. Okay. So then I bottled uh, I bottled that in its original bottle. After that, I did one pint of stout in a barrel and let it age for 48 months, then bottled it. Then I put a bottle of early times bottle in the bottom of the barrel for a week. Then I bottled that in its original bottle. Lastly, I put a bottle of cognac in the barrel for 48 hours. Then I put it back in the original bottle and put it in a bottle of Knob Creek 12. Okay for a week then bottling that is as well want to see if any of my finished creations could beat the normal releases blind hopefully you guys enjoyed filming this as much as i enjoy creating it next up in the barrel is kalua which should be weird and interesting yes that'll be weird so last place david for me tonight sixth place was a yeah okay a was jts brown standard jts brown oh, okay that doesn't taste like jts brown to me um Came we across a little was, higher proof. Well, but we said it was light. We said light, it was yeah. peanut, which very much so kind of makes up a chain JTS brand. Yep. Okay. Fifth place was Knob Creek Twelve. Okay. That was my second place, Jamie. Next up, your fourth place is B, which is JTS Brown Double Oaked in a One Liter Barrel. That was my fourth place. Third place for Jamie. My first place was D, which was. Early times bottled and bond stout barrel finished for one week. Really kind of came across Mick Jersey to me. Second place, Jamie, for you. My fifth place in position C is early times bottled and bond. Wow. Yes. If you can make is just straight early times. Straight time. early times bottled and bond. Wow. All right, Jamie, your first place, my third place was Knob Creek 12 cognac barrel finished for one week. Say that again. That's my first place? Yes. Okay, say it again. All right, your first place, Jamie, was Knob Creek 12 year in a one week cognac barrel finish. Oh. Hmm. Yep. Connor, thank you so much for putting this blind together with some of your standard stuff, as well as some of the creations. It was a yeah. very interesting to see what just a short amount of time in a special barrel can do to some of these to really, really make them uh, pretty, pretty solid. Yeah. So if thank you, you so much. If you guys like what we're doing here on Beyond the Row, please subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button if you like trying some whiskey experiments. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.